Start recording. Stop recording, but speech off. Hey guys, I'm going to show you a bit of what voiceover is like, so... We're going to go to... Verbosity, button, speech, speaking rate, speak, voice, swipe, three things, voiceover practice, button. Use voiceover practice. We're going to do a bit of that. Voiceover practice, heading. Done, button. Practice voiceover gestures, commands, and typing in this area. Select the done button in the top right corner and double tap to exit. Flip right, move to, flip left, move to previous item. Flip left, move to previous item. Touch, select item under your finger. Touch, select item under your finger. So voiceover is just... Touch, Touch, select item under your double tap. Double tap. Activate the selected item. Three finger triple tap. Three toggle screen curtain on and off. Three finger double tap. Toggle speech on and off. Two finger double tap. Start and stop the current action. For example, starts and stops playback of music and video. Touch, select item under your finger. Three finger single tap. Red item summary. Three finger single tap. Red item summary. <clears throat> three finger double tap toggle speech on and off three finger single tap red item summary two finger double tap and hold set custom label split tap activates the selected item two finger single tap pause or continue speech two finger double tap and hold set custom label touch select item under your finger two finger single tap pause or continue speech touch split tap activates the selected item Touch, select item under your finger. So split tap is like... Okay, so I'm going to place it down here, right here. So split tap is like if you hold one finger down. Touch, select item under... Split tap activates the selected item. Touch, select item under your finger. So <clears throat> if you... There are two ways to open up an item or different setting or different app. So there's the double tap... Double tap activates the selected item. Then there's the split tap where you just place one finger down. Touch, select, split tap activates and the selected item. Touch with the other finger and then that will activate the item the other way. So there's like. Flick right, move right, to next item. Flick left, left, move to previous up, flick up, up move to flick down, down, move to next item using rotor setting. Touch. Touch, select item under your finger. Two finger single tap, pause two or continue fingers, speech. Two finger single tap. Three finger single tap, red item summary. Four finger single tap near bottom of screen. Move to the last item. Alright, let's do in the middle. Four finger single tap near top of screen. Move to the first item. Four finger single tap near bottom of screen. Move to the last item. Alright, so we're gonna do two finger single tap, pause or continue speech. Oh wait, hang on. Three finger flick up, scroll down one page. Three finger single tap, red item summary. Three finger flick down, scroll up one page. Scroll of a page. Scroll Touch. Down. Select item under your finger. So let's do... Three finger flick left. Scroll right one page. Three finger flick right. Scroll left one page. So, <clears throat> well, I'm much done here. As far as I know. Look, done. Button. Done. Voice over practice. Button. So I'm done. So let's look at some... Speaking with... Speaking with speech. Button. Verbosity, but braille, focus 40B audio, button, braille, fo verbosity, but speech, button. Speaking rate, 60 per speaking rate, heading, voice over practice, swipe three fingers to scroll, double tap to activate the selected item. Your just basically gives you simple stuff. Tap once to select an item. Voice over speaks items on the screen, voice over, on. Double tap to toggle setting. No, I'm going to show you what happens when you turn it off. Off, alert, important. Are you sure you want to disable voiceover? Cancel, but okay, button. Voiceover off. So voiceover's off, and you can totally see the screen right there. Now, there's a accessibility shortcut. You can access it via the home button. And you can triple tap it, I mean triple click it, Four different gestures and stuff for like voiceover and other stuff, magnification or something, I don't know. But I have it set for voiceover. Voiceover on, settings, screen curtain on. So yeah, so <clears throat> if you want to close an app. App switcher, settings, active, FaceTime. So, if you want to... 
if you want to activate or open an app. If you want to open an app, you just suggest line four bingo doc music. Files, suggestion, doc, music, mail, safari, message, page 2 of 11, adjustable, page 3 of page 4 of 11. I know, I have a lot of apps. <laughs> watch ISN, recently up, hangouts, hashtag yo, tap taxi, hashtag hangout, watch up, page 4 of 11, adjustable. Swipe up or down with one finger to adjust the value. I've been needing to avoid that. Watch up, hang, hashtag yo, recently, speech off. Speech on, delete. Alert. Deleting the cancel. Delete button. Tips is editing. Character there mode. Finished editing. Tips is editing. Character mm-hmm. mode. Podcast tips. Double tap to open. So it's... Double tap In progress. Tips. Collections. Heading. So. What's new? In iOS 12. Button. Genius picks. Favorites from app. Essentials. Must know for iCloud. Get the most out iCloud. Get the most out of iCloud. Button. There's different things. They can... Double tap on it and get through it. App switcher. Tips. Double. So, that's pretty much it. FaceTime. Double tap to open. If you want to lock, um, because this is an iPad, you can lock it. 5, 13 p.m. Two notifications. All right, let's power this off. Power off button. Power off. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> so, yes, I decided to do another video today. I did decide because... <clears throat> yes, I did update my description to my channel to kind of do something to make people support me. I mean, I don't want to make anyone. I just... Want support for my channel. That's all. So. I think I'm going to work that support thing. I don't know. I don't know. Later.